Reference management is very important for PhD research students. During the course of your PhD, you read and collect a lot of articles and most of them you want to cite in your thesis. And there are many ways to do the reference management. Some are very easy and simple to follow. Some are very cumbersome. In this video, I am going to show you the method which I used during my PhD and which consists of maintaining only one file. And we are starting right after this short break. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Tahir and if this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell to get notified whenever I post a new video on this channel every Tuesday and Friday, sometimes on Sunday as well. Reference management means whatever articles you read during your PhD, you want to keep the reference entry of that article somewhere in a software or in a file. You collect all these references and when you are writing the thesis, you want to cite those references, the articles, the journal papers or the conference papers, the PhD thesis which you have read. And the workflow which I use, I think is the simplest of all workflows. And what I do is, I put all my reference entries, one entry per article, in a single BibTeX file. And then I use later to write my thesis. And when I do that, I simply use backslash cite command to cite any reference. It is so simple. And to write your PhD thesis in LaTeX, you only have to make one template. You can get a template from your colleague or you can create your template by watching my videos on my channel. I have a lot of videos. And when you create your template and then you have only one file in which all your references are maintained, then whenever you want to uh, cite an article, you simply put backslash cite, which is a latex command to cite a reference. And almost all publishers, they give you a BibTeX entry of any paper from IEEE, from Science Direct, ACM, all these they have BibTeX entries available for most of their articles. And I have explained this in another video as well. But in this video, I will first show you some of the very popular formats other than BibTeX. And then I will show you my reference file. Then I will explain some of the fields in a particular reference entry because every reference entry has few fields. For example, title of the paper, uh, name of the journal or the conference, pages, year and these kind of things. These are called fields. So I will give you a brief introduction to some other formats as well. But mostly this video is about BibTeX and how to make your bib file dot bib file which is a collection of BibTeX entries. So I will jump on my computer and I will show you how I do that. So in this video I will give you a brief introduction to some of the file formats we use for citations. So the best and free way to start looking for research papers is Google Scholar. So on scholars.google.com, you can get access to a large number of free research papers. So at this stage, we only want to learn about the file formats. So it is not important whether we are able to download the paper or not. So let's say I type my name and comma. And since all my papers, nearly all my papers uh, contain a word robot. So I put a robot here and press enter. So now it will show me a few papers. So not all of them are mine, uh, but one paper I identified that this is my paper. So I just click on that and it will take me to IEEE Explore database, which is hosting my paper. On IEEE Explore, we have this download citations arrow. And if I click on this arrow, as you can see that I have these few file formats in which I can download the citation. And this is what we are going to look into that what are these file formats and how they look, how an entry will look in these file formats because every citation is an entry. So there are four file formats. Plain text is obviously plain text, but 
in most of the situations we will be downloading in bibtech or ris format so these are the two most commonly used file formats but we can also use refworks so let us see how this entry will look in all these formats so first the plain text if i download this as you can see that this is the entry it has the name of the authors then the title of the paper detail of the conference keywords and then a link so let's close this and now we download this in bibtech if i download now this is the bibtech entry and this i will explain in a minute but this is how bibtech entry will look like for this paper so the way we use bib file is that we maintain one single bib file for whole project or for whole thesis and we copy paste all these entries into our bib file i will explain this in a minute let's close this again and let's see how ris format looks download this and now we have to save this and this is the file which we just downloaded from ieee explore.ris and as you can see that on the left hand side we have all the fields for this entry this is single entry and because there are a lot of keywords so therefore you can see these kw fields here and i will show you what fields are available in .ris file in a minute so these are the two common formats we use bibtech and ris if you use refworks you can download in the refworks format as well and now i will show you a brief introduction of ris and bibtech file formats ris is a standard format for exporting citations this format is named after the company who developed this research information systems and this format is used by many digital databases such as ieee explore scopus and acm portal and few others and almost all reference manager applications such as zotero mendeley and endnote they accept this format as the citation format and this is how a single entry looks like in this format and these are some of the fields in ris format as you can see here that ty means the type of the reference a1 is the first author and so on so you can all see this on this wikipedia website now let's have a look at dot bib file this is the dot bib file which i used during my phd references dot bib and in this file i collected all the citations of my phd thesis which i wanted to cite in my thesis and this is why i like latex because in latex you simply have to add your citations in your dot bib file so the first thing you should understand is that this is called the entry type in proceedings is an entry for conference paper and inside the entry all these like author title book title these are called fields so every entry has few fields and i will show you what entry types are available in bibtech and what fields are available in bibtech in a minute but this is first thing you should understand the second thing you should understand about bibtech file is that it has a certain format as you can see that it starts with a curly bracket and it ends at the curly bracket and inside the curly bracket at the beginning you have a word and this is the word which you are going to cite with the cite command backslash cite command in latex so you will type backslash cite and inside the curly bracket you will type this word whenever you want to cite this particular paper so this is the cite word which you want to use and for every field there are two ways to put a field so this curly bracket is for for the start and stop of the entry and for every field there are two ways one is you use this pair of curly brackets from the start of the field to the end of the field so this is the list of authors so you can use these curly brackets or there is another option that instead of curly bracket you can also use double quotation marks as i have used here so this is the article entry article means this is a journal paper in proceeding means it's a conference paper and here as you can see that i have this curly bracket for the entry and then for every field i am not using a curly bracket i am using a quotation mark at the start of the field 
and a one quotation mark at the end of the field. Then every field is separated by comma. So there are two ways to put the field either with the quotation marks or with the curly bracket both are acceptable. Then the last field this is the last field as you can see that there is no comma here because this is the last field. Now how many fields you have to enter? You can omit any number of fields if you want but try to add as many fields as possible. And when you download citation in .bib format then you get this entry. In the file you only get these few fields and what you can do is you can simply open the file in any editor and just cut your citation for that paper and put it in your main reference file. It's very simple. So you have to only take care of this file and during the course of my PhD I used to add all those references in this file and then I just used it when I was writing my thesis. For conference papers we have this keyword in proceedings and if I go further you will see that I have this article this is for journal papers similarly book keyword is used for any book. So these are some of the books which I cited in my thesis as you can see. So book is the keyword for books. If there is a technical report we have a keyword tech report and there are some fields here. And if you type BibTech on Wikipedia then you will see this page because BibTech is the tool which processes the Bib file and these are some of the entry types. You can scroll down and you can see what entry types are available with BibTech. Similarly there are some fields type available here as you can see. So all these are available on Wikipedia if you want to have a look. So this is it. I hope you like this video and if you have any questions put in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you next time.